Hello guys, welcome back to another video. The program for today is uh, sum until the given number became a single digit. Okay. For example, uh, this is the given number as input 5347. We have to split and sum it 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7, which sum is 19. It's not a single digit. So we have to split again, uh, then sum it. So 1 plus 9, 10. Again, it is not a single digit, it is a two digit. We have to split it again, one plus zero, one. So one is our final answer. We have to sum the given number uh, by splitting until it's become a single digit, okay? Shall we begin with our program? Hope you understand the questions. Uh, then uh, as usual, I get input from the user, the same input, uh, uh, 5347, 5347, okay? Uh, I initialize uh, that uh, sum is equal to 10. Okay, then I store a temporary variable uh, which is inum. Okay, so 10 is equal to 5347. Then I initialize b is equal to 0. Uh, then I check that sum is greater than or equal to 10. Okay. Now sum is greater than or equal to 10. Yeah. Uh, sum is greater than or equal to 10. So after that, I initialize sum is equal to 0. Uh, then uh, I declare another while loop, uh, which is i number is greater than 0, which is 5347 is greater than 0 here. 5347 is greater than 0 as it satisfies the condition. Uh, now, b is equal to i num by 10. We all know that modulo operator return reminder. So, 5347 modulo 10 will return 7. Okay. Now, sum is equal to 0. Sum plus equal to b. So, 7 will get added. After that, I... Uh, this quotient operator will return numerator. So uh, 5347 divided by 10, which returns 534. Okay. Now again, a check uh, that 534 is greater than 0. 534 is greater than 0 as the condition true. Now B is equal to 534 modulo 10, which returns the reminder 4. Okay. Already the sum is 7. 7 plus 4 equal to 11. So now the sum will be 11. After that, uh, uh, I num by 10. Now I num is 534 by 10 will return 53. Okay. Now, 53 is greater than 0 as the condition true. 53 percentage 10 will return the reminder is 3. So, 3. Already the sum is 11. So, uh, 11 plus now uh, 3. 11 plus 3 equal to 14. Okay. The sum will store now 14. Now, 53 will return quotient 5. So check 5 greater than 0. Yeah. So 5 percentage 10 will return 5. Okay. Already the sum is uh, 14. Now 5 will get added. So 14 plus 5 is 19. Now the sum is 19. Then uh, 5, gray, 5 by 10 will return 0. Okay, zero greater than zero, the condition fail. After that, I re initialize that I num equal to sum, which is 19. Okay, 19. I check that uh, after that, this while loop uh, 19 is greater than or equal to 10 as the condition true. So it will come here. Now it's 19. Now it's 19, 19 grade, 19 percentage 10. 19 percentage 10, which retains the uh, reminder, which is 9. Then uh, now the sum is equal to 0, right? So we remove this line. 
So sum now is nine. Okay, sum plus equal to b zero plus nine equal to nine. After that, the nineteen by ten, nineteen by ten, which returns question right, which returns one. So one greater than zero as the condition true. Uh, one percentage ten will return one. Already the sum is nine. Nine plus one equal to ten. After that, one by ten, which returns zero. So zero greater than zero, the condition false. So it will come outside the while loop. This while loop, a tree as nine. I num equal to sum. Now the sum is ten. So nineteen will be as nine to ten. After that, it will check ten greater than or equal to zero as the condition true. So it reinitialize sum is equal to zero. So it will. It will remove here. After that, ten uh, percentage ten, which returns a reminder, right? Ten percentage ten, which returns the reminder, which is zero. So sum is assigned to zero. Then ten uh, by ten, which returns the quotient one. So now one greater than zero. So as the condition true, so one by ten, which returns one. So zero is already there. Now one will get added. So sum is one. Now one by ten, one by ten, which returns zero. So zero greater than zero, the condition false. So here the number will be assigned to sum which is one. Okay, now let's check the condition. One less than or equal to ten. One greater than or equal to ten. So its condition falls. So it come outside this while loop. It print this sum one. Okay. Likewise, as my first iteration, we have to split the number and sum it, which will become nineteen. After that, it is it is not a single digit. The the check condition is ten. Uh, be below ten or or single digit uh, up to one to nine, so uh, so only I reinitialize the uh, sum is equal to ten. Okay, nineteen is greater than ten, uh, so we have to split it again. One plus nine ten, which is greater than or equal to ten, we have to split it again. One plus zero one, so the output is one. Shall we run the program? Five three four seven, which returns uh five three four seven one. So I have the another number four fifty six. Sorry, four fifty six. It will return six. How means I explain this? Four fifty six, uh, uh, which will become four plus five plus six. Uh, four plus five nine nine plus six fifteen. Okay, then fifteen uh, will get fifteen also greater two digit number, so it will split one plus five, uh, which is equal to six. Now six is a single digit, so output will be six. Okay, hope you understand. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I leave the program solution in the description. Kindly check it. Thank you.